Hello! Welcome! Welcome, we're delighted to have you. So welcome to Easy 10 Minute Pad Thai for Good Health. This is really tasty. It will literally take 10 minutes. There is two of us that might take you 15. And it's packed with diversity, so it's really, really beneficial for your microbiome and your gut health, your mental health, your immune system, and super tasty. Okay, first step, so we've got a pot of boiling water. I'm just gonna put a nice generous pinch of salt so it'll season our noodles. And we're gonna cook, we're using whole wheat noodles. You can use brown rice noodles instead. But make sure that they're the brown type because they're naturally going to be high in fiber. And fiber is the single most important thing from the American Gut Project in terms of gut health because fiber is linked, it's a prebiotic, so it actually feeds the healthy strains of bacteria in your gut. So anyway. if, you, if you are a celiac, just use brown rice noodles as opposed to whole wheat noodles. Yes. So I've got a wide bottom nonstick pan on high heat. I have 200 grams of firm tofu. I'm going to just chop them into medium sized cubes. The pan's nice and hot. People often ask us, what's the best gut health supplement? And really in our experience of, we partner with a consultant gastroenterologist and a dietitian and have done for the last five years. What's a gastroenterologist? A digestion doctor. And the single biggest thing, the best health supplement for gut health is your diet. It really nice is. Stuff. Diet and lifestyle because, you know, diet, fiber is the single biggest thing which they found in the American Gut Project to influence your gut health and you only get fiber and whole plant food. So it's not saying you need to be vegan or vegetarian, but to have certainly plant slant, plant forward, plant predominant, because everyone's at different stages. Obviously, if you're vegan, wonderful. Just make sure and eat more whole plant foods. And if you're really new to this lifestyle, really start stacking the deck in your favor and start eating more whole plant foods because they'll really benefit your gut health. They'll influence your mental health, your moods. And uh, anyway, and back Okay, so we're going to in with ginger because Dave mentioned the American Gut Project. So that was based on research. 14,000 stool tests. Imagine that for your day's work. Uh, so they took research. 14,000 We're stool. cooking food, Steve. I know. And they found out that uh, the second most important thing, the so most important thing was to eat more fiber. Second thing was to focus on diversity, meaning the more different types of fruits and vegetables, whole you know, grains, whole grains nuts and seeds and beans you can eat a week and the goal was to get more than 30 per week so in this recipe alone there's going to be about 12 to 15 different types of plants so the addition of ginger is one the addition of chili all these so once our tofu is brown on one side we're just going to carefully take a moment just be careful just to flip each one this is called searing it so we're not cooking with oil you may have noticed here and the main reason is that on average, people eat the same volume of food every day, about one and a half to two kilos of food. Average male will eat about 2,000 calories a day. You'd, an average female will eat somewhere slightly less, depending on who you are, obviously. And but none all, of you are average. It's, obviously, no one is average. You are all extraordinary. Uh, so oil, oil is the highest source of calories in our diet. So by cutting it out, we, are, we can eat more vegetables and we can eat more, greater volumes of food. Okay, the reason why you might have seen my fingers just touching the top of the tofu is just to squeeze out a little bit of moisture so we can concentrate more flavor. Once they are starting to brown on both sides, I'm gonna get my darling, my, 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 my lover, my most beautiful thing ever. Your mistress. To, uh, tamari. So I'm gonna go with about two tablespoons, a generous two tablespoons. Woo! David Flynn's gonna move that around the pan. I'm also gonna go with about a tablespoon of milk. I'm gonna go in a little bit of water just to... The water will just evaporate quickly as well. And it'll mean I can deglaze the pan. Only when it starts to contract that the glaze starts to actually stick to the skin of the tofu. So you kinda of wanna be patient with this bit and you kinda of wanna really concentrate all this liquid all on one side. Okay, so tofu is done. We're just gonna transfer it to a plate here. We love tofu, we love tofu, we love tofu. Just try to get as much of that sauce because that's just flavor. Okay, tofu's done now, so it's time to kind of slice our veg and just really get it going. So into the pan, one yellow pepper. As quick as you can, as quick as you can chop this veg, we will get this dish cooked. This will be a 10 minute pad thai. So my noodles are done. I'm just gonna drain them here into the sink. So I've just got four nests. These are whole wheat, as I said, just use brown rice or black bean even is another great one if you're gluten free as well. Okay, so into our pan that's deglazing, I've got some yellow peppers. Again, don't worry about oil. As we mentioned, we don't want to add in those empty calories. Oil will enable a higher surface temperature and a more even distribution of heat. However, the cost of it is that you're increasing your calorific density or your calorific load. We're hitting you with loads of information here. In terms of these green onions, also known as scallions, um, I'm cutting off the white part because these are typically higher in fermentable carbohydrate, more likely to cause indigestion. So if you do have indigestion, we're gonna eat more lower FODMAP foods. 
in go some green onions. So we're using mushrooms. We've got a couple of handfuls of mushrooms. We're using chestnut. You can use oyster, button, whatever shiitake, type whatever type of mushrooms you're into. So Hippocrates, two and a half thousand years ago, said that he's the father of modern medicine. And he said that all disease starts in the gut. And as we said, we partner with a consultant gastroenterologist, Dr. Alan Desmond. And he says, contrary, he says, all health starts in the gut. And it really is, he refers to it as the control center of human biology. And your gut health directly impacts your, your mental health. Can, can you take control back of the, so, okay, in goes the mushrooms. So nice handful of button mushrooms. And we're gonna go in with a decent pinch of salt as well with these just to release lots of the moisture. So, Often your microbiome is called the control center of human biology or of your own biology. And by diet and lifestyle, you can take those controls back and actually help take control of your body. No way. Yes. Wow, how cool. But genuinely it is true. And um, we found we, we've been running our Good Health Revolution course for five years. We've had more than 15,000 people through it and it gets incredible results. And it's all about lifestyle. It's all about getting people to, like, as we said, fiber is the single biggest thing you can to, do to improve your good health. And it's about teaching people the foods to eat to dramatically supercharge their gut. And your gut is where 70% of your immune system cells are. It directly influences your moods, your emotions. And as you can see, we are very passionate about it. Okay, so we've got a small half a thumb-sized piece of ginger. Half a thumb-sized piece, thumb piece of ginger. piece of ginger. I've got one extremely pert red chili. Phallic. You do not need one to be as strong as that. However, I'm gonna just take half a phallic red chili or your red chili of choice. So while, while you're chopping the, the chili, you could just get your twin to grate the carrot into it. You can see we're using a lot of fast cooking veg here. Carrot is wonderful, I always grate it because otherwise it doesn't quite cook and it ends up crunchy otherwise. Okay, so, so if you're young and healthy, you might go, good health, why do I care about good health? Well, that is where a lot of your serotonin is made, which is one of the neurotransmitters and chemicals in your brain that make you feel really good. It's also where most of your immune system cells are. And IBS is this, common umbrella term known as irritable bowel syndrome. And it, it, it kind of refers to people with diarrhea or bloating or indigestion or gas or discomfort. And what they found in studies with people with bad IBS um, say they would, they would actually give up 10 to 15 years of their life to find an immediate cure of it because it can be really debilitating. And we found that lifestyle has a massive component to it. Typically, on our good health. 70% of IBS occurs due to stress. So on the course, we partner with a holistic therapist. She's a wellness and meditation expert, and she does a daily meditation, a 10 minute meditation focused around the gut. Quick pause, tin of black beans or beans of choice. We're gonna go in with about three quarters of a tin. And once again, like you may need to add a little bit of water. We're keeping this oil free, as we said. It's just gonna really make sure and incorporate any flavor, any charring or caramelization gets incorporated back into the dish. Okay, now it's time to make our sauce. So I've got one tin of low-fat coconut milk. I'm gonna go with approximately half of that. The reason why we're going with reduced fat coconut milk here is again, it's just to reduce the calories. And it means that you could get more of your calories from high fiber foods, such as the fruit, the veg, the beans, the whole grains, the nuts and the seeds. Because as we said, Fiber is the single biggest thing that you can do to dramatically improve your good health. Therefore, your immune system. And they also found in the smallest piece of research where they took people that were depressed. Uh, it was teenagers that were depressed. They took two groups one of, and they put them up for 12 weeks on a, on a piece of research. One of them was put in a social support system. That was 25 where and 31 were put on a diet, dietary intervention and they were put on a high fiber diet. And at the end, they wanted to see which functioned better. And they found that the high fiber diet had a much better effect at reducing people's incidence of depression and helping them come off their pharmacology and their medication. Okay, so folks, it's nearly time to start wrapping this dish. I've got my noodles. I've got four nests of noodles. As I said, approximately 200 grams. I'm gonna add them into the pot here. And I've got just a handful of sugar snap peas. Again, just bringing more diversity and more color into the dish. This will add texture, so a little bit of bite and crunch. So we, as we said, we've, we've cooked this with a lot of fast cooking veg, but we've written the full recipe on our website with an article by the gastroenterologist about why and why this is so important in terms of good health. So. Um, so don't worry about remembering measurements while you're watching it now. Okay, so before you eat any dish, you should always season it. So just take a little small amount, taste it and go, does it need more salt, more black pepper, more lime? Very, very tasty, is it? Very tasty, but... A little more salt and probably a tiny little bit more tamari. This is, uh, I just love tamari. We're gonna put it another kind of half tablespoon. Juice a half a lime. That'll add a bit of acid that'll just add vibrancy to the dish. 
And folks, our dish is pretty much ready. We're gonna serve it up with some, some of the tofu and some greens and a bit of lime and what a wonderful, easy, delicious dinner. And top tip in terms of digestion is number one, while you're eating, take your time. Really take your time, sit and eat mindfully because as we said, 70% of IBS is down to just stress. So if you can sit down and mindfully eat your dinner, don't drink water while you drink it and afterwards take a 10 to 15 minute walk. It really helps improve digestion. So ladies and gentlemen, there is a 10 minute pad thai, super tasty, really beneficial for good health. If you wanna learn more, we've got our Good Health Revolution mm. course. We've partnered with a consultant gastroenterologist and a dietitian. We've had more than 15,000 people through it. It gets amazing results and it's done on our app. This is really tasty. Yeah, I'd say it is, yeah. yeah I've cooked this loads of times. I cooked it last Saturday. People came over to my house and we cooked it. So there you have it, super tasty dish. If you, as we said, if you want the written recipe, click in the link down below and we've got an accompanying piece about what you can do in terms of good health by a gastroenterologist. Really tasty, banging dish. Uh, full details Delicious. down below. 10 minutes, check it out. Cheers, bye.